Hey guys, Savage Warrior here bringing you some more boom beats from the beaches of Maui. And today we're going to talk about the corner flare, a topic never discussed, but one of the most important skills for Zookas to walk in task force operations. I've been privileged to play in some of the highest ranking task force in this game, and it still amazes me that I meet incredible Zooka players who don't do this. And it's really the easiest thing to do, and one that you can master, the corner flare. If you remember my previous video on the javelin throw, there is a relevant similarity on this topic. I recommend to watch this video to help you understand what I will be discussing today. Watching this video and understanding why the corner flare matters so much hopefully will allow you to understand the mechanics of the walking lines. Furthermore, I believe this is the basic, not advanced, Zuka skill that is highly underutilized from players who are much more advanced than you. Knowing this skill will allow you to move ahead much faster and immediately make you look like a pro. So let's take a close look at what makes corner flares so important. On assembly, many of the defensive structures have already been cleared here, but we want to avoid the mortar and the sniper tower with long range ability. Hitting the corner forces the Zookas to bend around this corner. I don't know if you can see it, but you can definitely notice on the second corner flare, they still need to get around that corner near the power cell and then are forced to group into a tighter line. Now on the third corner, this is the most extreme example of how to manipulate the walking patterns of your Zooka. Dredge is a great base to learn how to flare corners. The first corner is a beach run, but being lazy and landing all the Zookas at once kind of looks sloppy and can result in several losses. Take your time and learn to beach run your Zookas properly. Once group and gathered, flare to the corner and anticipate the walking line, and this is simple and easy to do. Once there, the space can almost always be soloed at any level most of the time. Keep in mind that headquarters have five pixels, whereas other structures only have three. Notice the pixels reveal the 45 degree walking path and by using corner flares, we can cancel out the troops desire to walk around unwanted paths. Here on Java, I flare all the way to the left corner and when my troops cross that 45 degree plane, I flare all the way to the back exactly in the corner. Now you can easily anticipate the walking lines and know where to lead with smoke. On a long walk like this, if you don't flare directly in the corner, you will lose control and lose many troops along the way. Let's boost our tactics here and study the pixel theory a little closer. You really want to avoid taking a three line walking path. Sometimes it's even worth spending a little more gunboat energy to avoid any fatalities. We can do this by flaring in walking lines or pixels that we know are safe areas and sidestepping towards our target, or even doing a group and gather tactic to split troops into a two line walking path. Now we can use the outer rims of bases to override that natural walking path and bring them into a single file with plenty of time to predict how we walk around structures by remembering our pixels and that 45 degree angle. Troops will obey their marching orders if you know how to manipulate and override the pixels set forth in this game. Putting this all together, let's flare up to the corner and add a new maneuver of sidestepping off the beaten path. Here we still use our corner flare and utilize the easy walking 45 degree pixels. Once arriving in a good open space, knowing our kill zone, we can command our troops to sidestep into a kill zone with only two smokes. Once we arrive, we throw critters in the smoke just behind us with enough gunboat energy for two rounds of shocks. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, Savage Warrior out.